Okay, here we go. Lesson one on algebra. Now, if you remember, I have done algebra with most of you before, uh, with the algebra top trumps. If you remember that, the animals. Um, when we cut them out and have fun with that. That was great, wasn't it? But today we're looking at algebra more formally. Is that going to work? No. Okay, there we go. Totally good. Algebra involves letters or symbols representing numbers. You often need to find out the value of a letter. It's like a puzzle. So, if A plus 5 equals 10, what's the value of A? Now, some silly billies would say 15 because they see the 5 and the 10 and they'd see an addition symbol, but that is incorrect. A goes with 5 to make 10. A must be less than 10. How much less? 5 less. So in my head, I say a plus 5 equals 10. I do the inverse in my head, and I say 10 take away 5 will get you a. a equals 5. And that's what you're doing today. You're finding out the value of each of the letters. There's lots of different ways you can do this. Um, there's a few challenges here for you to get your teeth stuck into. What number can be added to 21 to get 50? Can you also work out the value of that circly thing? And the value of that starry thing. If you want to pause the video now and have a go, you can do. Here are the answers. 29, 22, and 8. Now, sometimes we use letters. So you've got P plus 43 equals 80. And 4 times N equals 24. Can I tell you now that 4 times N is the same as saying 4N? Exact same thing. Anyway, draw a pause now and find out in your head what could P be and what could N be. P is going to be less than 80. P goes with 43 to make 80. There's a few ways to do this. Here are three suggested methods. Trial and error, trial and improvement, and inverse. So trial and error, you may have heard the phrase before, it's basically trying out different numbers to see if they work. I don't know what W is here, but I can try out different numbers to see if I get the right one. 80, could 80 work? No. 70, could 70 work? 70 plus 26 is 96. Hmm. Yeah, that's all right. Trial and improvement is better. That's, that's trying something and then adapting your answer depending on what you've got. So if I do 26 plus 80, it's 106. It's too big. Adjust. Go, go lower. Mm, plus 70, 96. Too big. Again, needs to be lower. 60. 26 plus 60 is 86. It's too small. It has to be between 70 and 60. So we're getting there slowly but surely. And you will see in time you eventually get the right answer by adapting your answer accordingly. Not bad. I personally prefer this one. This is doing the opposite of what the calculation is. So I've got 26 plus W is 94. That's addition. The inverse of addition is subtraction. So you take those numbers and you rearrange them to make a subtraction calculation. And now you've got, if you do 94 take away 26 using column addition or in your head, you will get the value of W. Mm. Now this one here, again, inverse. What's the inverse of multiplication? That's right, division. So if you do 54 divided by 9, you're going to get that D. And it's going to be... Six, because six times nine, oh gosh, I've gone too far. Six times nine is 54. Very good. Okay, do you want to pause now and have a go at these ones on the PowerPoint? The ones in yellow, be careful of because, I don't know, have a think. Why must you be careful with those ones? Interesting. Go. Okay, the ones in yellow, be careful of because the number is going to be, it's trying to fool you. 15 take away C, for example, is 2. Some people would say, or oh, 17. No, no, no. 15 take away C is 2. So it must be less than 15. Interesting. Here are the answers. Oh, wait, <laughs> Here's one more step to help you. If you found that really tricky, the PowerPoint has been really kind and rearranged it like that. So you might want to have a go now. And here are your answers. Cool. Next up, now, 
that's the first level of challenge today. That's your mega hot. If you found that challenging, don't worry. You can stick on that level today. That's really cool. No, that's your hot and spicy, excuse me. Uh, over here, I've got some harder stuff. I've got groupings. I've got 6C times 6 equals 36. This is challenging stuff, year 5. So, I'll come back to that in a second. If we go over here, we've got to find out what 6C is first, and then we can find C. So, something times 6 is 36. I can do the opposite of that, which is division. 36 divided by 6 is going to give us 6C. Once you've done that, 36 divided by 6, you're going to get 6. So 6C is 6. And you'd be tempted to say that the value of C is 6. No, it's not. The value of 6C is 6. So what's the value of C? Divide 6C by 6, and you'll get what C is, and C is 1. I put this PowerPoint slide in here because this is really interesting. This equal symbol is very important. It reminds you that everything on the left and the right have to balance like an old timey scale, they have to be the same. So you can do some addition on both sides to get rid of some of the values. 2x take away 3 is 7. If you add 3 on the left, you can get rid of it. If you add 3 on the right, it, you have to do that for it to balance out. So then you get 2x equals 10. Divide 2x to get 1x, and 1x is 5. You'll notice that they don't put 1x, they just put x. Lovely. And then have a go at these if you think you're ready for the groupings. 12k is 12 of k, for example. I'll give you a hint. 60 divided by 5 will get you what 12k is. Have a pause and have a go. Answers coming up. Ta-da. Right, this next thing is more of a year six challenge, and I will be setting it to year six next week, but I thought some of you might want to have a cheeky peek at it now. Um, this is brackets. Now, if you've done Bodmus or Bidmus, you will know you do the brackets first, but this is quite challenging indeed. So honestly, if this is crazy for you guys, just pause and do some of the, uh, the mega hots. That's challenging enough. But with this one here, let's take the first one, shall we? You do one step at a time. I can't emphasize that enough. One step at a time. Get rid of the brackets first. So 7 times 7 is 49. So on the left-hand side, it's 49. On the right-hand side, it must be 49 as well. So now what? I've got 100 take away 2s plus 1 must equal 49. The second side needs to be 49. So 2s plus 1 must equal 51 because in brackets, 100 take away 51 is 49. So 2s must equal 50. If 2s equals 50, 1s must be 25. The bracket stuff is very challenging indeed, but you know what, guys? I think some of you are ready for a challenge. If you want to have a go at this, please do. Pause it now and answers up in two seconds. Mm. This is challenging. This is hard stuff, but it is doable for some people. Just give it a go. If it's too challenging, don't worry. Hashtag growth mindset. Lovely stuff. Now, there's a document called Year 5 Algebra. It looks like this. Lovely stuff. Now, all you have to do is copy down the question and then do whatever steps you need to do to find out the value of the letter. So over here, I've got hot and spicy. A, 3 plus f A equals 5. What must A be? Interesting. So underneath, you write the value of A. Mega hot, bit more challenging. Are you nuts? Okay. Now, I've put the challenges in there with brackets. You can do that if you want to, but only if you are super confident on that, because that, like I said, is more of a year six one. But hey, if you feel like you're ready for it, give it a go, my friends. Have a go at that. The answers are also up, and good luck. At the end of the PowerPoint, lovely stuff. 